What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about text attachments in your text. And to be clear, this is a way where you can add images in line to attributed strings and not just emojis, of course, because that is pretty straightforward. So that all said, we'll take a look at a practical example, drop a like down below, hit subscribe, let's open up Xcode, and let's jump right into it. We're going to start by creating a new project. We'll stick with a standard app under iOS. And I'm going to go ahead and call this project attachment. Make sure you've got uh, storyboard selected here we'll be working in ui kit and swift as the language this of course works in swift ui as well but i'll just go ahead and stick with ui kit for today's video so we're going to be working in the view controller file so go ahead and open that up and this will probably be a fairly brief video given the simplicity of setting this up i'm going to also go ahead and pick a simulator to build and run, and we'll get started here. So the first thing we wanna do is create a label, which is uh, the first step of this, of course. So it's gonna be a label, pretty standard. We're gonna have it in the global scope. We're gonna add this to our hierarchy, just like that. We should probably give this guy a frame as well. So I'll go ahead and say zero, zero, 200 by 100 and I'm going to go ahead and center it as well. So the premise of a uh, text attachment, let's go ahead and just center this. The premise of a text attachment is basically what it sounds like. You can more or less add attachments into attributed strings and they help you do uh, one of two things. One, you can add images pretty seamlessly in line into texts. Um, so things like if you want to say press the plus icon to start something right you can do that pretty easily uh, Thereby avoiding adding you know an image view and a label and then trying to add constraints So they lay out you know next to one another the second thing that it's really good for is if you want to add attachments like files and whatnot uh, into your labels so if you've ever seen things like uh, you know an icon of a file and a link where you can click it to open it maybe in an email app or um, you know, Google Docs, this is what they're using under the hood. So let's go ahead and create a uh, attributed string. So that's pretty simple. We're gonna say attributed string is going to be a NS mutable attributed string. And we're simply going to create it with a string. We're gonna say, please tap uh, the following to start. And we're just gonna go ahead and assign this to our label. We'll say label dot attributed string is our string here and what i'll also go ahead and do is add uh, some quick attributes to this so we can actually use the uh, benefit of the attributed string we'll just give it a foreground color of maybe color dot label just like that go ahead and give it a run we should see our text label in the middle right there just like that now the one thing that you'll notice is that it is being truncated and the reason for that is because our width isn't wide enough so we're going to say view uh, dot width frame dot size dot width and that'll make our label the entirety of the width and we'll go ahead and drop the center here and i'll push this down from the top maybe i don't know 300 points just like that and we'll go ahead and give this a run once more. Our text should not be truncated now. We should see our whole label just like that. So let's actually go ahead and add a attachment, which you guys all came here for. So it's pretty easy to create. We're going to go ahead and say our attachment is going to be a NS text attachment, just like that. And we're going to assign an image onto this. So we're going to say attachment.image is going to be a UI image. Now I'm going to use a SF symbol, Apple's icons, just because it's you know baked in. You can use any of your own images as well. And we're going to go with plus, just like that, which is the plus icon. And let's see what else we want to do. The other thing we want to do is, of course, add this to our uh, mutable string up here. So we have our attributed string. We're going to go ahead and append it. So we're going to say, go ahead and append the attachment. And if you go ahead and give it a run now, what you'll notice is we have a issue here. So it's saying cannot convert value of NS text attachment to that. So we can't actually append the attachment directly. So what can we do? What we can actually do is we can wrap this inside of an attributed string and append that. So if you open up the constructor for this, there's going to be a variant in here where you can pass in a attachment like so. 
So once you do that, it'll be happy and take it and you can go ahead and add it. But what you'll notice is where the heck is our image? Because it definitely isn't showing up here. And the reason it's not showing up is because we need to set a size, uh, rather bounds, on our attachment. So this is going to be a choreographics rect, a CG rect, and we're going to go ahead and say 0, 0, uh, let's say 100, or let's do 70 maybe, by 70. Now, one question that you might have while looking at this is, well, what does 0, 0 mean here? Well, it actually means nothing. So if you go ahead and actually give this a run, what you'll notice is we see our icon right there. Now you'll notice it is a black tint, so in dark mode it doesn't show up. The zero, zero just refers to the point that it should be appended to. So if I make this negative 100, it'll still start out here, but just be up 100. It does not refer to the top left of the actual attributed string itself. So pretty pretty easy to work with pretty easy to get started in now one thing you might be wondering is well this kind of looks a little ugly right now let's make the sizes a bit more proportional and this is why um, attachments are bundled in with attributed strings as you can control and fine-tune this really to meet your needs so let's say I add a mutable paragraph style I can go ahead and say we want the alignment of our string to be centered so we can pass in an attribute into here. We're going to say paragraph style is going to be our style. We can, of course, increase the font size as well. And I'm also going to go ahead and say label dot number of lines is zero. So we get some line wrapping going on there. So we're going to go ahead and add a font size. We'll say this is UI fonts. And we're going to go ahead and use a system font of size. Maybe let's try 24. And I'm going to also go ahead and bump down the size of our uh, image here. Go ahead and do that, just like that. Now let's go ahead and give this a run. Now, of course, like I mentioned, um, this isn't really that helpful for emojis because you can just copy and paste emojis into strings directly. Uh, but what it is helpful for is if you have any custom iconography, whether it's SF symbols, your own image, uh, you know, an icon for a file, be it a PDF, a Word document, et cetera, et cetera. You can basically stick anything in here. Um, so you can imagine like in the in the YouTube app, they might have like a label and say, you know, hit the bell icon or hit the following icon to turn on notifications. And they might, you know, append the attachment into the string like this. Uh, and that's basically text attachments in a nutshell. I don't want to ramble on too long. Fairly straightforward concept, but pretty powerful in practice when you're building out your UIs. The biggest thing that I've started to use this for recently in my own projects is traditionally if you wanted something like this to get rendered, if you're doing frame-based layout, you'd have to calculate the X and Y all manually, which is kind of a pain. If you're doing constraint-based layout with auto layout, you would have to constrain things where the image would either be below your text or on the right of it, but that whole model kind of starts to fall apart when you start supporting you know, dynamic font, where the user can increase their font size, but you've hard-coded your constraint to be on the right of your label. It doesn't really look that nice. What's really great about this is when you actually add it as a part of the attributed string, iOS, the system, is responsible for rendering it and placing it at the appropriate points. And one other thing that uh, hopefully goes without saying is you don't have to append this at the end of the string. So if I wanted to append, let's say, something else in front of this, I can go ahead and say, put a period, let's say. Um, and let's say, um, we'll say here, get notifications and if I go ahead and give it a run what you'll notice is that bell icon is now in between these two strings now obviously the text attributes that we added initially here we would need to add those to this thing that we append to but I digress hopefully that drives home the point that is all I've got for you guys today text attachments let me know in the comments if you guys found the video interesting what you guys think if you've used it before as always drop a like if you haven't done so already hit subscribe so we keep the channel going and growing together uh, follow on YouTube uh, rather Twitter since we were on YouTube uh, for updates for me we can also connect on LinkedIn I know a lot of you already started to do that but if you haven't look me up there happy to connect as always thanks again for watching I'll catch you on the next one